yeah yeah it's your boy dj hairline crooked and this week i'm turned all the way up it's because i got to sit down with one of my best friends emma silvestri so this week's episode is gonna be absolutely crazy um we've known each other since i met her in 2015 at aberhart and i hopelessly fell in love with her until i got to know her better and then we became fast friends very shortly after that in my earnest opinion, Emma is a bright light in a sea of average. Her personality electrifies rooms, and her admiration and her care for her friends is absolutely limitless. She's currently en route to graduate in the spring with a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, I believe, and after that, and I quote, who knows? Although she is kind of dumb sometimes, I'm not going to lie, she's taught me so many lessons over the last six years, and honestly, I could not see her not being in my life. So Emma, my dog, I love you and thank you from Kale, Evan, and myself for sitting down and sharing your snippets of wisdom with me and the world. And for those of you listening, I hope you enjoy the fifth episode of What Makes You Happy. All right, welcome back. So I am recording the fifth episode of What Makes You Happy this week. I don't know when it'll go up because I'm busy. And honestly, it doesn't really matter. You'll listen to it whenever you guys decide to listen to it anyways. But I'm here with my friend Emma. Emma is like one of my best (laughs) friends, dude. I love Emma. So this is going to be lots and lots of fun. But she says she's a little nervous. Emma, why are you nervous? Um, I just like find it like I'm good at talking. And I'm great at talking for like long periods of time. Like, no worries. But uh, when you, like, ask me questions about myself, like, I panic. I feel like I don't know myself well enough to, like, answer these things. And that's okay, because I've known Emma since 2015, and I think I know Emma well enough to answer the questions, even if she gets confused. So it'll be yeah, fine. perfect. We'll piece our way through it together, bro. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. People ask me about myself, and I get scared. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask you about yourself, but it's going to be super fun. Okay. Super fun. So, okay. if... You were assigned this assignment in English class, and yeah. they said, describe Emma Silvestri using colors and fruit. Colors what would you say? Fruit. Yeah. See, when you said assignment, like, what my brain went to was, like, I wrote this essay, and it was, like, six pages about me, and I literally was, like, in my room, like, crying. I was, like, I don't know what to say about me. So I made my mom come down and be, like, hey, like, add this. But anyways, colors and fruit, I can do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll have to be, like, uh, I'm in grade one, and we'll be good. For, okay, for colors, I'm thinking, like... I actually personally don't really like this color, but, like, I'm thinking, like, yellow. Because usually you're like, yeah, yellow, like, sun, sunflowers. It's a very happy color. Yes. Smiley faces. Yes. Those are yellow. You're right. And I am, like, a very, like, bubbly, like, outgoing kind of, well, actually, I, outgoing might be a stretch, but, like, I'm a very, It's okay, like, we'll get there. Happy, sunny person. So yeah. yellow would yeah. be a color for sure. Fruit. Um, maybe like maybe like a cactus fruit. A cactus fruit. Have you ever had a cactus fruit? No, I've never had a cactus fruit. I think that's what it's called. But like, what if, if I'm wrong? I'm wrong, and it happens to me every day. But uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> you like can't really touch the outside. Like it's a little, a little prickly. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and you open it, and it's like neon pink. You're like, that's a fun freaking surprise. Oh yeah. And it is like delicious, but there's also these like very hard seeds in there, so you gotta like work to like chew them sometimes. And I think that that's kind of perfect, you know. Like sometimes I'm a little bit difficult to get to know. I, you tell me that all the time. Um, but like inside, I'm like a fluffy little, not fluffy, but like lovely. <laughs> pink fruit and sometimes there's parts that you have to work on to like chew a little bit but like it's awesome it's it's awesome so yeah those would be my that would be my color and fruit okay well (laughs) i i don't disagree with the color and i also agree with the fact that yellow sucks so yeah yeah yellow dude 
that that was a good that was a good color. Um, the only other one that I would say is along those lines that I would agree with would have been orange, orange. or like a neon of any color. Yeah, I was gonna say like the bright. Just you're you're right. You're a very bubbly yeah. person. Yeah. See, when I was picturing yellow, I was thinking like like bright yellow. Oh, like, yeah. like I wasn't oh, thinking yeah. like mustard. Like more so like closer to the neon. Mustard, bro? No, I, well, I like the condiment. No, no, it's fine. But I no, actually, it's fine. I have a mustard yellow hoodie. No, no it's if fine. That... No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the cactus fruit, I think that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> First of all, Emma's like, it's a little prickly. I wouldn't describe Emma's personality as prickly, but Emma is prickly herself. Emma has a lot of hair. <laughs> you need to leave. God. It's okay. It's okay. Like, it's I haven't okay. my legs in a while. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, bright pink surprise. Fluffy bright pink surprise inside. Well, I, I, fluffy might have been the wrong word, but bright pink surprise, yes. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I wouldn't say you're hard to get to know in every instance. It it's just true. depends on the context. Like This is true. It was difficult for me because it, I, I was, it was literally a cold call. I'd never spoken to you before. <laughs> and I was talking to you on the phone. And it was like, hey, Emma, how was practice? Good, LOL. <laughs> oh, okay. And I love LOL. Oh, yeah, you do love LOL. It's really freaking annoying because it's like, it's so passive aggressive. <laughs> and you don't mean it that way. But every time I read it, I'm just like, Okay. <laughs> me, I guess. That's true. Like, I think I say LOL in pretty much every single text. But for what? What does that convey? In all I, honesty to you, does that convey anything important? No. I. But I literally can't help myself. Like, I'll type a text, and I'll just finish it with lol. Because sometimes, like, sometimes I'll, like, say things, and I'm like, oh, that could have been, like, a little bit too aggressive. Or, yeah. like, yeah. or like, because I'm, like, pretty, like sassy sometimes and it's not like i'm trying to be like an asshole i'm just mm-hmm. like that's funny to me so mm-hmm. i'll like say something but to make sure you know that i'm like haha i just had a little lol at the end you know <laughs> haha it's funny i would just like say that you're a part of the problem don't send text messages with stuff that have no meaning because the people <laughs> like me will sit there and try and take meaning from your empty words for hours you, so, you sit and look at my lols. No, and- not you. <laughs> not you specifically. I just mean in general. Half the crap you say, man, like I need to read three times to understand because it's like it's not important. <laughs> oh, that one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. I'll just never speak again. <laughs> oh my god. Someone has to take my free speech away. This is insane. Oh my god. Okay. Like you're, you're not you're not wrong, but like <laughs> ouch. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. So So when it comes to your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, your health health in general, what makes you happy? See when I knew that this was going to be a question, I like was like, this is perfect because I actually feel like this past like maybe year, mm-hmm. I have like drastically improved. And like even since probably like February, like I feel like I am in a completely different headspace, like mentally, I like physically am doing so much better. Like there's so many things, but honestly, like a big part of that is uh, you're aware I like broke up with my terrible toxic relationship and like coming out of that I was very like depressed anxious I was having panic attacks like pretty Mm -hmm. much every single day I cried myself to sleep pretty much every single day like it was very hard for me to like get out and do things Mm -hmm. I really didn't like socializing I like didn't like talking to people like I just would rather like not and a big part of that was like going to therapy honestly like I will preach day in day out how Mm -hmm. freaking great therapy is like anyone asks me like oh I don't know like I'm thinking about seeing a therapist I'm like go see that therapist like I don't think you understand how awesome it is I'm like even if you don't have anything that you're like oh like this was super traumatic like I need to discuss this with this Mm -hmm. person 
Like, it's just, like, having that extra person who's, like, completely unbiased in your life to just, like, talk to things, like, talk you through things, you know? Right. And that was just, like, awesome for me. And then, like, going to the gym, mm-hmm. like, I I always say I'm, like, oh, I'm, like, embarrassed for myself because I, like, sound like a gym bro. But, like, <laughs> like I love it. Like, I, <laughs> I love it. I love like, it. God. Like... I, so I started going to the gym in September of last year. Mm-hmm. And so like the year of like transformation, I guess. So I went in weighing what I weigh now, but what I weigh now is like I've built in muscle. Like yeah. I lost like 20 pounds of Jeez. like fat. Like I was like, it was crazy. Jeez. And I was working out like at least five times a week. Mm-hmm. And, like, now I'm just, like, obsessed with, like, trying to become strong. Like, nothing gives me... If you're not talking iron, don't talk to Emma. (laughs) Quite literally. Like, I... Honestly, like, the serotonin levels that I receive of, like, being at the gym beside someone and, like, outlifting them and everything, like, I literally am, like... Oh my god, I'm so strong. Like, I'm the greatest thing ever. And are we talking about, like, who you're going to the gym with? Or are we talking about random people? Random people? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to the so gym. So you're just sitting there and you're hitting your reps and you're like, F- yeah, you are <laughs> and I'm yeah. so much stronger you, than like, you. Like, quite literally. And the <laughs> there's this girl that, like, goes to the gym with me. Okay. And, like, like I don't really know her. Mm-hmm. Like, Actually, I've never spoken to this girl. Like, I don't know her. But um, she very strongly dislikes me. And her only basis for this is that the guy that she's been dating... Like, they've probably been dating at least, like, four years now. Okay. The guy that she was dating, before they started dating, Mm -hmm. he liked me. And I... First of all, I didn't like him back. Like, I, like, shut the whole thing down. Like, it was, like, not a situation. Okay. But then, like, he said happy birthday to me at school once, and she, like, lost her mind. She's like, you're not allowed to speak to this girl. I've been blocked on literally everything by this man. Like, she was very aggressive about it, so I was like, okay, whatever. And she goes to the same gym as me now. And the amount of dirty looks I receive from this girl is, like, outstanding. But somehow, miraculously, no matter what time of the day I go to the gym, she's pretty much always there. Mm -hmm. And she pretty much does the same, like workouts every day so it's either like if i'm doing arms she's doing arms if i'm doing legs like she's doing legs okay like whatever the situation and so like when i'm lifting beside her like i love just giving her a glance so i'm like pushing more than her and i'm like yeah that's right <laughs> I'm like sure you might have a big butt but and not my butt is not that big but can you lift the same amount as me no so uh, so i'm better <laughs> <laughs> okay fair enough I don't know if that even answered the question that you originally asked. No, 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 no. (laughs) I was going to ask you a question about... Because you said therapy and you said working out. Yeah. So, in your experience with therapy... Yeah. Did you get more of a mm, sense of freedom? Like, weight being lifted off your shoulders from your sessions with your therapist... As opposed to just reflecting on your own at home, or if you got like that experience from both of them, which one would you say was more effective, just for you? Um, like, I, the thing is, I do like like journaling and stuff, and like getting it all out by myself. Like that's good, but I find like sometimes I ju- it just like doesn't occur to me to mm-hmm. journal as often as it probably should like I'll be stressed and like journaling is not the first thing that pops into my brain and so I feel like talking to somebody like it would like force me to like confront things right because I'm like like I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm big on this but like I tend to mm-hmm. like avoid problems Mm -hmm. and I just am like haha like everything's fine and I'm really happy right now even if I might not be (laughs) and so I'm just like if I have that like scheduled appointment where I have to like talk about my issues I found that that was like super awesome but another thing that I want to say that I forgot about because I got sidetracked being like I outlift this woman (laughs) um anyways (laughs) um, 
another thing I was going to say. Emma was, wants like, to make it very clear that she's stronger than this girl. <laughs> yeah, the other thing I was going to say was, like, a big part of, like, not that this is necessarily, like, mental health or, like, physical health or whatever, but, like, um, I... Like, again, when I, like, came out of the relationship, whatever, I, like, didn't really want to socialize. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I almost got, like, more shy. Mm -hmm. Like, I already didn't love interacting with strangers because I just have, like, this, like, social anxiety about it. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, what was honestly super duper good for me was working at the golf course. Mm -hmm. And because, like... Every single day I was, like, meeting new people and I was forced to talk to them. Whether that was, like, in the snack shack, in the restaurant, on the cart. Like, I'm consistently interacting with people. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, like, goodness gracious, I was, like, so stressed my first day. Like, I was, like, it was not good. And I remember, like, I knew Ethan Banks from high school. Like, he also works at the golf course. So that was cool because I had a couple people that I was, like, yeah, I know them. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day I was, like, talking to him on the putting green. And this one member, I'm going to shout him out because he's my favorite man. His name is Bill Hewson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he, like, just started talking to me about, like, golf and, like, life and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, like, this is such a nice man. And we were just, like, talking. So that became, like, my first member that I, like, befriended. So every day he'd come in and I'd be like, oh, my God, Bill. And we'd have these, like, talks. And I was like, if I could do this with Bill, like, maybe, like, I can, like, <laughs> extend that further and, like, keep talking to people. That's crazy to me. Because if you told me last year that I'd be, like, openly just, like, talking about my life and, like, talking about things with people, I'd be like, no, you're crazy. Like, I'm, yeah. like, shy. Honestly, I think the biggest thing is, is that you need to be comfortable. Yeah. Because, uh, like, once you're comfortable, you're, like, a lot. I'm a lot. <laughs> And it's like, okay, I understand that. I'm like, she's a good time. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. We have fun. Because it just doesn't, half the stuff we say doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but we're like sitting here like, ah Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But um, do you think working in a customer service job, would you advise that to people who are like you, um, who may not feel introverted, but who have fallen into an introverted state or who are introverted and might uh want to work on that do you think yeah like i think it like forces you to like come out of your shell because obviously Mm -hmm. like going into that literally the only person i knew at the golf course was ethan banks and then i knew like my mom's ex-boyfriend who like got me the job and he was also (laughs) like a member there but that was like the extent pretty much of Mm -hmm. who i knew there Mm -hmm. and so it was like Every day I was, like, interacting with new people, and it just, like, forces you to, like, come out of your shell. Because you're not, first of all, you're not going to make any money if you're not talking to people. Facts. Which, like, that's what you're there for. Facts. And, like, also people are going to be like, what's wrong with this girl? Like, why won't she speak to me? Like, I'm, literally, I'm like, sharing these, like, thoughts with her, and mm-hmm. I'm, like, asking her how her day is. And she's just like, Haha. So I was like, <laughs> you kind of, like, you have to, like interact right mm-hmm. so that was, it just like makes you more inclined i feel like but yeah i feel like that was very beneficial and i would say that like if you are like you feel like shy or you have like some social anxiety like if you're put in those situations like it forces you to like kind of develop those mm-hmm. skills further like even if you still are like i'm shy You've, you've gotten to know, like, 300 new people, so, like, you, there you like... <laughs> there you go. You can't be that shy if you've gotten to know 300 new people. <laughs> Is the chase for getting stronger or the chase for being the strongest girl in the vicinity stronger <laughs> for you? Like, what's the main <laughs> motivator, email? <laughs> okay. Uh, when I first started going to the gym, I was like, I want to be skinny. Um, <laughs> And then I was, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like, I've never liked myself so much. I'm like, this rocks. Like, every day I was like, mm, yeah, like, I'm feeling myself. I'm taking, like, mirror selfies and outfits. I'm like, ooh. And I'm, like, putting on jeans that, like, don't fit me anymore. I'm like, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> so I was like, this is crazy. And then, and now I'm like, I honestly, like, don't even really want to be, like, skinny. Like, I'm like, I just, like, want to get big. Like, I, and I, like... I'm eating, like, a freaking garburator these days. Like, I, I don't stop eating. And mm-hmm. I'm, like, and I can see that I'm, like, getting stronger. And I, like, and that's reflected in, like, the weights I'm lifting. Yeah. And that just, like, makes me so happy. Like, obviously there's people who lift more than me at the gym. Like, it's not like I'm, like, a 
professional weightlifter or anything. But, like, I just, like, love me, like, getting stronger. So I'm mm-hmm. like, I just can't wait to, like, lift more. And, like, yeah. every time I go to the gym, I'm like, mm, like, maybe, like, I'll try, like, a little bit more today. And it just feels so good every single time. So I, like, not necessarily being, like, the strongest girl in the vicinity, although sometimes that is very nice. <laughs> and it makes my insides feel all warm and fuzzy. But <laughs> just, like, getting stronger in itself is, like... Yay! I love that for me. <laughs> okay. Well, I also love that for you, bro. Thanks. <laughs> because everybody wants to be strong. Really? See, but I was going to say, in my experience, you just go to the gym, put your headphones in. Well, because I work alone. Put my headphones in and do my work. Yeah. Because as soon as I start drifting, then I start feeling bad about myself. But if I'm focused on uh, me, it's like, let's go, bro. Well, yeah, I always work out with... Well, not always. Like, it started, I would only go to the gym if Brittany was going to the gym. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, number one, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I, like, don't want to go to the gym and just, like, stroll around. <laughs> like, I was like, that feels embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Number two was, like, I don't want to, like, go, like, without her. And, like, pe- people can look at me and I'm, like, alone. And I don't like that. Mm-hmm. But, like, even, like, that's, like, you know, the whole, like, girls going to the bathroom together kind of vibe. Like, I was, like... Mm, let's go to the gym by myself right? yeah. but so like even when I'm working out with Brittany like yeah headphones are in but like sometimes I'm like mid mid lift I'm like hey like did you hear about this that happened and she's like no way and I'm like yeah wait up headphone back in <laughs> like do work like it's just like nice <laughs> to like have Emma likes to leave her fans <laughs> on a cliffhanger yeah so at the party <laughs> Starts squatting. She's like, "What happened at the party?" No, shut up. I'm working. I'm working. That's so funny. <laughs> well, and then after that set, we'll take it on again. So like, totally, this is what happened. And like, so and so, and then and then we, you know. Emma's actually way better at telling gossip stories than that. It's just Emma doesn't want to gossip because she's a nice person. But yeah. Like, trust I'll... me, Emma's very good at gossip. <laughs> I'm like, you'll never believe <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> You enjoy telling the stories. I enjoy hearing them. I I do. think it's winning. I think, well, I think, like, honestly, like, one of my main issues is, is, like, like, this happens with, like, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Bad at surprises. Because I personally get so excited that, like, I can't keep my mouth shut. And the same sort of thing happens to me with, like, juicy gossip or, like, juicy, like, secrets. Obviously, if you told me a secret that was, like, serious, I'm not going to go and, like, tell the world, like... That's just uncalled for. That's but a That's not... <laughs> shut up. But, like, if you tell me something and you're, like... And it's, like, very juicy, I, like, need to get it off my chest. So I will purposefully pick someone that's, like, far removed from you so that, like, it will never g- get back to, like, anyone that you know. But I, like, need to offload it because I'm sitting here, like, by myself. Like, my brain is boggled. I'm, like, all kinds of, like... Ah! And I, someone needs to know. <laughs> so I just, like, <laughs> expel it. <laughs> like, I can't help it. It's a good thing I'm an open book and everybody knows everything about me because my secrets would be all over the place. But well, it's okay. We love people you anyways. don't know. <laughs> hey, man, you never know who knows who. You never know. Like, it's okay. It doesn't <laughs> matter. You live your experience. I'm not hating because I've gotten some insane stories. So I'm, cool. I'm booing. Great. I'm glad. <laughs> this is good. Um, okay, Emma. Okay. What gets you through your worst days? <sighs> See, this was the question that I was like, mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's okay. If you want a second to think, I'll start. Her Drake pillow. <laughs> 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 there you go. Okay. Honestly, so... <laughs> So I, ha- so I have that little guy, my little drink pillow, and, like, a little stuffed monkey that I keep in my bed, right? And, like, if... <laughs> so if I'm, like, facing, like, whatever direction... Yeah. And I put the drink pillow, like, right behind me, like, against my back... Yeah. And then I put the monkey, like, drape it over my side... Yeah. It, like, sort of almost feels like I'm being spooned. By Drake. Well, uh, th- it doesn't necessarily have to be Drake, just or, spooned. No, yes, it does. Okay, it has to be so Drake. So it feels like I'm being spooned by Drake. <laughs> yes. And, yes. like, it just, you know, like, feels good and, like, comforts me. Okay. But, yeah, it was 
Does it get me through my tough days? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I would argue sleep is probably pretty important. Well, but... that's a fair that's a fair assessment. But then again, like I'm I'm the girl who could sleep for sixteen hours like unprompted. That's, so that's it's just true. like <laughs> That's true. Like if I don't sleep enough, I'm just already like not in a good space. So I, I don't yeah. Sleep. It's okay. <laughs> I do a lot of that. Sleep. I don't know. Like <laughs> sometimes I just need a good power cry, to be honest. Fair. Like, I cry frequently. Like, Mm -hmm. and half the time it's not even a big deal, but I just need to, like, like, bump some sad tunes, like, cry, like, cry for, like, a little bit, and then I'm like, and then eventually the tears just stop. I'm like, cool, I'm I'm not sad anymore. (laughs) Like, I'm like, (laughs) that worked. That's a good one. Good emotional shower. Those okay. those hit different. Like, okay. you know, the hot water. And if you cry in the shower, like, are you really crying? Because your face is already wet. So. Wow. I never thought about that. Holy. I don't know. Like, sure. Yo, if you have questions about crying, ask Emma. Because Emma, Emma clearly knows <laughs> about crying. Big cry girl. <laughs> hey. Honestly, I cried today. And it was very therapeutic, so I'm behind this. Yeah. I'm behind this. It's like a it's like a great coping mechanism. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, maybe don't go, like, crying in public all the time. People might be like, why is this person always crying? But, yeah. like, have your moment. Take a cry. Even sometimes when I'm flustered at work, I just lock myself in the bathroom, power cry for a minute, clean myself up, and get back out there. <laughs> like, but to be fair, there's times where I'm serving, and I'm the only person working in the restaurant. The mm-hmm. only human being upstairs. Mm-hmm. And I have like eight tables. Mm-hmm. And they're all with at least four people. And I'm sitting there like... <laughs> and I'm like, I can't bring everyone everything. And I'm forgetting cutlery to some people. Like, and some people don't have water. Like, I don't... Uh, and so like, sometimes I just need that moment to just... <laughs> and then I go back. <laughs> okay. Emma is a very hardworking employee. She will have a mental breakdown or two on the ship. <laughs> But as long as you give her the proper yeah. place, the materials, to deal with her sadness. Which is literally just a toilet, because they always have toilet paper that can wipe the tears. Like, they usually have a door, and I'm alone. I like, you were just going to say, oh, yeah, I start crying, and then you should project that one. So it's very important that I'm near a bathroom. That's super funny. Um, the one other thing I was going to suggest was music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I very much so music reflects my mood kind oh, of person. Facts. Yeah. So like if I'm angry, like there's times where I'm listening to like some like aggressive like either like very aggressive rap or like I'll listen to like you're gonna go far kid, like you know, or like sometimes I'll mix in some A C D C like depends depends on the level of anger, you know, like some of those songs aren't very angry. But anyways and then um, Some of those songs, their anger levels don't reach my anger levels. Well, yeah. <laughs> my like, teen angst, whatever. Like, Drop the World by Lil Wayne. When I'm angry, that song, like, oh, wow. Um, but, like, yeah. And then if I'm sad, like, my sad playlist is, like, it's, it is, that is one of my greatest works of art. It's, like, it's perfect. And then there's, like, I have one called, like, Tonight I Bounce Back. So if I'm, like, coming out of, like, a slump, I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm the shit, no worries. Like, let's Mm -hmm. just bump this. Like, it just really... Every every mood has its own playlist. I'm grr. I'm sad. Tonight I bounce back. (laughs) There's, like, chillin'. Like, all the the things. All the boxes checked. Yeah. So that, yeah, music. That, yeah. Well, if we've learned one thing, it's that Emma <laughs> likes to absolutely revel in her feelings, which I think is honestly a good thing. I yeah. was going to say, like, you may not be hitting this point, but I am, this is just screaming to me. You're a very empathetic human being, Emma. Yeah. And, like, I wouldn't say you're over-concerned with other people's problems, but just the way you are you lead with your emotions so you do feel other people's emotions and like the music reflecting your emotions it's like oh i can relish this anger and then just like let go of it and it works for you that's true i like yeah like when you say that yeah like i can't like you know in like american idol where where 
<laughs> yes, American Idol. <laughs> where they, like, tell their life stories. And, like, you know, most of the time, yeah, they're sad. Like, will they put me to the brink of tears? Probably not. But, mm-hmm. like, literally just watching someone cry on TV makes me cry. Like, I don't care who you are. If you start crying, I'm probably going to start crying. Which, mm, is that ideal? Probably not. Because there's times where I'm, like, literally... <laughs> I remember me and Bryn. Like, mm-hmm. Bryn's not someone who, like, cries very often. And she's, like, one of my best friends, right? So, like, she, like, hurt her knee mm-hmm. in a basketball game. Mm-hmm. And she starts crying. And she's sitting beside me. And I'm looking at her. And I start crying. And she's like, Emma, why are you crying? And I'm like, you're crying. because you're crying. She's like, I hurt my knee. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, why are you crying? Like, you are fine. And I'm like, but you went in You know? Like, yeah. I can't. I don't, it's weird. I think <laughs> like, everybody needs people like us in our lives. Because it's like, it doesn't matter if you don't feel that way. I feel that way. That's true. Because um, I can tell you, you may not have punched very many holes in the wall during your toxic relationship, but I punched very many holes in the wall. I was like, are you kidding? Emily, you literally just told me you weren't going to do X, Y, or Z. Oh, X, Y, or Z happened. Oh. Now everybody's pissed at everybody and you're frustrated and cry. Awesome. You know? <laughs> and hey, yeah. I'm not putting the blame on you. There's nothing you can do about that. Love is blinding. Yeah, it doesn't help when you like get gaslit or being manipulated. But like, yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. Honestly, <laughs> people will do what people will do. Yeah, right? no, that's very true. And you said it yourself. I feel amazing the last 18 months i feel like a brand new <laughs> so i think you're fine yeah no i think i think i'm good now like but this is like the way i've like been describing it to people is so picture like your life as like a series of mountains okay and so uh, <laughs> like i was at the very bottom of the mountain. Like, okay. I pitched, like, valley deep. Like, I was not okay. doing hot. Okay. And then I started climbing this mountain. Okay. And I just have been climbing, like, right. very consistently. Right. I'm not necessarily at, like, peak Emma yet. Because okay. that's, like, okay. the best Emma has right. a, could ever possibly be. Okay. But I feel like I'm, like, so close. Okay, and I'm, so like, significantly closer than I was... You know, let's say February. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. I imagined it. Thank you for making me imagine it. It really helped. It really helped. I just, I figured. (laughs) I'm a visual learner, but... Um, okay. I guess the only other thing that I would say would be people. And it depends on the situation. Because, like... If your social battery is at zero, you'll ignore everybody without (laughs) any mercy whatsoever. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter who is dying. If Emma doesn't feel like answering the phone, you're not going to get in contact with her. But (laughs) I have also seen the other side of it where it's like you walk into a room and then you're like slump because Emma used to sleep in every single class (laughs) we had in high school. You'll see this if you're watching this on video, because I have lots of videos. Every single class. But then you'd have three conversations, and just bouncing off the walls, bro. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, like, on like recently, I have been terrible at answering the phone. Because I'm at work all day, I'm talking to people literally the entire day, and then, like, I go to school, and I just see so many people. And, like, half the time I don't even talk to people, but just, like, seeing that many people, I'm like, oh, my God. And, like, dealing with, like, not seeing anyone, like, because of, like, COVID yeah. and whatever, to then, like, going from that to being, like, I'm seeing so many people, like, so consistently. Mm-hmm. It's, like, a lot. And oh, yeah. so, like, just people trying to, like, text me right now. Like, I literally feel like I have texts from, like, a month ago that I just never responded to. And it's not because I don't like the person or, like, I don't want to answer that, like, specific individual. But it's just, like, I'm like, mm, mm, 
I'll get to it eventually. And then I just don't because I'm like, I just don't have the time or like the energy. But then, yeah, there is like the complete opposite side of that where I'm like, and it, it does like have to do with like the people I'm with. Like there's certain people that I feel like really like lift me up and like make me feel like super great. And I'm like my most energetic, like most excited self. And then there's other people who like, are significantly more draining. Mm -hmm. So it's like I could spend like max like four hours with that person before I start feeling like, "Mm." and so it's like, like it it really just (laughs) depends. But I do feel like that, but that kind of goes back to like, you like the whole, like me being empathetic thing is like, I really like feel like what other people are feeling. And if I'm with someone who's like very negative or like, Mm -hmm draining then like that's reflected in the way that i'm acting versus Mm -hmm. like yeah emma's a sponge like yeah (laughs) like yeah it's fine Okay. Just, those things are useful. I don't, <laughs> I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. Being yeah. able to read a room emotionally is a huge skill that not very many people that I know have. And I'm like, bro, how can you not see that somebody hates whatever you're doing or whatever yeah. you're saying right now? So. No, exactly. I feel that. Okay. Let's say looking at the last six months, and then the upcoming six months. In the last six months, is there anything that like s- truly terrified you or that you're super thankful for? And then in the coming six months, the same thing. Is there anything that's like, oh my God. Okay. Uh, um, in the last... Okay, well, what was six months ago? That was like... Today is September. September is nine. So three. March. Okay, so March. Um, starting my new job terrified me, mm-hmm. but now I'm like very thankful for that. Number one, it brought me a lot of money, which like everybody likes that. You can say what you will, but like everybody likes having money. I don't care. Um, (laughs) I also just like the opportunity to like meet so many people. And like, again, I like explained how that like developed different like characteristics in me and whatnot. And like, Mm -hmm push me out of my comfort zone which i am really like thankful for Mm -hmm. um in the next six months that puts us at march again right i I think the math there adds up yeah no no that's only wait yeah 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 okay (laughs) yeah sure Um, okay in march (laughs) yes (laughs) Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say like I'm like I think an issue that I actually have with myself is like uh, <laughs> I'm very bad at like thinking like in the future Okay. so I like it's all about the right now yeah, and, like, sometimes I have some moments where I'm, like, dwelling on past things, but, like, I'm bad at, like, thinking about, like, what's next? Like, what's next kind of thing? Mm-hmm. So I don't really feel, like, afraid for anything, and I don't really feel, like, whatever. I think the only thing that is, like, sort of weird is, like, I guess in March, like, right kind of after that, I'll be finishing my fourth year. Like, I'll be graduating. Mm-hmm. Like, that's weird, and, like, I d- will have, like, things I want to do after that. And it's just, like, w- weird. Like, I-, I feel like I just graduated high school. Like, I know, obviously, you've been graduated for, like, however freaking long now. It's been four years. Which is crazy. Because, like... It doesn't feel like It years. just feels like it kind of just, like, flew by. Yeah. And, like, they're, like, just giving me this degree. Like, I'm, like... <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. But, like... <laughs> Yeah, like, that's crazy to me, and, like, I do want to, like, go back to school and stuff, but just, like, having, like, that, like, 
accomplishment already like being done mm-hmm. is like scary because I feel like I'm growing up, which like has always kind of like turned me off. I'm like ew. <sighs> I feel like I I want to be like Peter Pan or like you know like. Toys R Us, like, thinks I don't want to grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. I, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like, resonate with that, because I'm like, Ooh, I don't want to get older, yeah. and, like, have responsibilities, and, like, have to deal with my own life, like, that's crazy, um, but it's also, like, exciting, mm-hmm. so it's, like, terrified, probably not, but, like... So it makes me feel some type of way, yes. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> are you really looking forward to being in control of, like, everything? Because, like, obviously you're in control of your funds, and you're in control of your vehicle, and what you do in your life now. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, once you've graduated, like, the world really is your oyster. You can go anywhere. You can do anything. Yeah, and, uh, like, I do... Like, it's weird because I feel like a lot, like most of my friends, actually like all of my friends from high school, that I, the, at least the ones that I still talk to, like all pretty much left home, right? And so it's like a completely different experience there where like they're living elsewhere. They've already like gained that independence. So it's like weirder for them, like coming back and like having to live with their parents again for the summer or like regardless of like what that whole dynamic is. Mm -hmm. Like they've already like kind of gained that like independence to a certain degree, I feel like. And I, it's not like I'm like, oh, like I need to leave this home. But I'm like, I do look forward to like, a point where like in life where I'm self-reliant and like I am like independent and I feel like I can go just do things and like it has zero repercussions for like anybody but me kind of thing like that would be cool so I don't know (laughs) Emma's just excited she really likes quesadillas she also has a celiac issue so they're gluten-free tortillas but she's just just really excited to have quesadillas for every meal and have nobody yell at her so that's what she's trying to get across by saying i want to move out so i can eat quesadillas all day i pretty much already do i don't know like (laughs) (laughs) never mind never mind i'm like oh it's meal time a breakfast quesadilla will do (laughs) perfect i mean like i can make other things but like nothing's quite as easy and nothing hits the same like exactly like that's my greatest creation i think and more than uh sparkling no water and i couldn't apple go juice. without that like every time i leave my house for an extended period of time the first thing i want to do when i get back is drink apple juice or and sparkling water but like if i am like away i like catch myself mostly like when i'm not busy so like if i'm like going to bed or something like so i'm like god i really wish I could just have some apple juice and sparkling water right now. And so it's like, that's like my comfort thing. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, that's like home. It's mm-hmm. apple juice and sparkling water. So I'm mm-hmm. like, mm, I just really want that. Like, everyone's like, oh, can't wait to sleep in my own bed. Like, I don't care. I'll sleep anywhere. Like, <laughs> like, I literally could fall asleep anywhere on the planet. But, like, nothing quite hits the same as my apple juice with my sparkling water in my black cup. Like, that, that's my thing. <laughs> And that is okay. And I don't mean to come after your comfort because, like I said, I'm all for it. But everybody just close your eyes for a second. Including me, okay. Yeah. Including you. (laughs) Including me. (laughs) My eyes weren't closed, but yeah, they are now. Okay, go. All I want to do is go home and drink some apple juice. How old was the person that just said that? Four, right? (laughs) A baby. Now, close your eyes. (laughs) All I want to do is go home and drink some orange juice. How old was that person? An adult. A fully functioning adult. (laughs) Because (laughs) apple juice is friggin' baby juice, and this is a hill I'll die on. So I'm glad you found your niche, Well, but it's baby juice. Okay, well, the reason they sounded so drastically different is because you said apple and then orange (laughs) That's, like, very different. Like, if you said apple and orange, <laughs> they kind of sound the same. And 
it's like it's juice. Like what do you mean it's baby juice? And I don't drink just apple juice. I don't like just apple juice. Like I won't drink just apple <coughs> juice. It has to be half sparkling water and half apple juice. <coughs> like that. I don't know. <laughs> You see how defensive she got when I called her juice baby juice? Because it's baby juice. You know who gets mad about juice? Babies. That's all I'm saying. But it's okay. <laughs> like I said, like I said, it's not here nor there. I just thought that was very, very important to convey. Thanks You're for welcome. that. You're welcome. I really You're welcome. appreciate You're welcome. that. It's okay, Emma. I love you. It's fine. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? You would like to say to the people before I take these uh, fancy doohickeys down. Fancy doohickeys. Yeah, my phone, this laptop, and my sp- speaker, my microphone. Snowball. Um, <laughs> well, you know, like, thanks. Thanks, thanks, folks, for coming out. Um, uh, thanks, thanks, Keaton, for talking to me. <laughs> And making me feel less weird about this whole situation. Yeah. Because I was panicked. But anyways, uh, that's kind of it. I feel like I discussed a lot of my things. And I don't have ran out of things to say. So. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I won't make you just sit here and blabber. Um, you don't have to thank me. Because, like, dude, I was going to come have a conversation with you regardless. True. It's just I got to sit down and record. Um, True. Thank you for taking the time to do it. It's taken forever. This wasn't one of the ones that I was willing to do over Zoom because I was like, Emma's going to have enough issues with this. If I'm not actually there, <laughs> we're going to have problems. So, like, thanks for knowing that. You're I, like, I was like, yeah, yeah no. it's but, okay. like, I like, saw like some of the other ones you did and like how you did them over Zoom and stuff, and I was like, no, the thought of that makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what like, I thought. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> The biggest thing to leave the people who take the time to listen to this is that find the people that you can do what we just did. We spent I don't know how long just speaking and probably 10% of it was valuable. Like to you guys, I mean, you know, all of it was valuable to us, but we were having the time of our lives. So I appreciate you being in my life, Emma, and you're not going anywhere anytime soon. I appreciate you being a model like Keaton. Ah, I love love. <laughs> okay, well, I think I will cut it there and I will shut all these two hickeys off.